Hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Dean, and as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit ill at the moment, but I'm going to push through um, in today's video. We've got our second one-day international coming up against England here at uh, Blundstone Arena. So we're in uh, Tasmania for this one. Is this where, I think we had game three or game four, okay, maybe game three of the Ashes series here. So uh, exciting contest, coming off the back of a 38 in the previous innings. And uh, it was our first time attempting to play without the pitch marker. We're going to do that again today. Um, I haven't really had a chance to look too much at your comments on the last video because it's not out for another 15 minutes yet. So... <laughs> Um, <laughs> after that, I will, after I record this one, I'll have a look, see what you guys think about the pitch marker versus no pitch marker and what you prefer, and then, I suppose, in the next video, that's, uh, what will happen. I don't really want to bowl a lot of overs here, though. Come on. Wait. And remember, Joe Root did make, uh, about 150-odd runs. I think he might have even been not out. In the previous match, 150, 160 odds. So we're going to see is if we can get him out early. But that's a cracking shot for four. We got it over in the end. Just four from it. Oh! Ho ho! Ho ho! Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't have to bowl for the remainder of the innings. And by the way, we're batting. Doesn't look like I'll be needed to... Oh, sugar. They made 377. We need a lot of runs. And I cannot see the ball. Hooray! Yep. It's going to have to be a lot of the innings. Just do what you can. Yeah, 147 from 90. Yep. How is he? He is not out. There he is. Travis Head, 30 from 17. Really good start from him. He's probably going to be the catalyst for this innings. Yep. As well as myself, if we are to get home here, dive. <laughs> I'm going to take as many singles as I can. Because have a look at the head. He's just hit another seven runs off those two balls. Oh, that just darted away. Fair task. Still nine to ten and over. Edge there, I think. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, dear. He was 100% out. And that hit the stumps. I'm trying to hit that on the offside. My thumb is pointed that away. That away. For you guys. It was there. Look at that. It's top right. You can see where I'm pointing. That's a wide. It had to be a wide. There was no way I could have hit it. I moved across early. Because I knew that there's one spot in the field where there is a gap. That one just didn't respond. Very, very slow to respond to my choice of... An inside edge. Going to be a couple of runs. That's off the glove. That's gone over that fielder's head. We are coming back for two. And we're going to get it. It's a bottom edge through the keeper. That one just flies through. End of the over. Three from it. Three for 3.11. Oh, that's a shot. Pop that one. I thought it was six. It just felt like a six shot. That is like glove or handle of the bat or something. Have a look at this one. What does it hit? Still just over 10 and over required. Travis Head again. Dominant. That's that's out. This is out. And it's not out. And I reckon I've run Travis Head out. No, I haven't. I've done well here. That's ridiculous. So a strange dropped catch. Surprised to see that bloke retain his spot in the side next week. They're looking for two. We're going to get it again. Yep. He's going to get on the end of this. Can he pick up a run out? Not a quite. A single three for 330. Travis Head, what's he going to do? Short, like He's brought up his 100 here. What's the required? 36 from 24. 
It's now under 10 and over. We're now a real chance. That's a wide. Oh no, I've been absolutely bonker bold. For 23, Wokes with the dismissal. I think this might be one of the issues without the, the pitch marker is obviously you can play the line, but you just... Oh, guy seems to just think he's even further away from the ball than he really is. Anyway, we're going to just like skip a little bit forward here as this is a really close game. Maybe get us to the last... I'm going to say last nine balls, but Travis Head has just taken this game by storm. I mean, Owen Morgan obviously played the game for his 190-odd, but Travis Head... 129, striking it over 200 to chase down 378 in 48 overs. Absurd. Really is absurd. Alright, let's do game... Oh, gee, my voice is really going. Uh, let's try and get through game three. Looks like... I was going to say the Gabba, but I don't think that's the Gabba. It's the SCG. It's a very green pitch too. And I think we've lost the toss and we're going to bat first. We're coming in. 3 for 108. 17.4 overs. I uh, face three balls. Two balls, sorry. Haven't made a run yet. Yep. Get that one not through the gap. Gonna run out Steve Smith. Is this is a direct hit? Or if I'm just stupid enough to not hold down sprint when running. My stupidity is fine right now. I'll get off the mark here. Brainless before. 4 for 112. The ball seeming is honestly the hardest thing to judge. It seems like it like actually seems a lot more, moves off the pitch way more than it used to. I guess obviously if you don't know where it's going and then it just bounces really awkwardly for you, it does make it even more tough. This one's through the gap so we will pick up two, maybe even three actually. Gee, when it's seeming like that, it's really hard. I put something back on here. I don't know what it is. It's the aerial marker. What? Yep. You got? Would you hate it if this is on? That way I can at least judge the length better because it's it's practically impossible, as I said, to try and judge the length the other way. Yep. No! And I think it's. I think this is more acceptable than just having the pitch marker mean like yeah always trying to innovate and I understand like whatever I do it's not gonna please everyone so whether I've got it on or off people are gonna be pissed off either way too bad I guess is um can't you can't please everyone yep. so that bowler just whoop, warped his way over there Almost straight back in the bowl, but we're gonna pick up a couple more here. Covers? Yep. Not quite that area, but well, I definitely think this I'm I'm more okay with this. Yep. Oh, this is a tempting run. Yep. Oh, I've hit it straight to the field, haven't I? Oh no, it's, a, it's bounced there. That's exactly what they do to me. Every time. Good to see I got some payback on him. Wow, that is a ripping ball from Rashid. Goodbye to me. That is a massive wrong one. But also probably a poor shot choice. Alright, that's it for me, I reckon. I'm not even going to bowl you. I'm sick of it. So, the Australians are going to get chased down. It's 2-1. England get their first win of the series. It's a three-wicket victory. Seven for 242. Chased it down in just 42 overs. Coming through for 46. Adil Rashid, the player of the game. Four for 20. Sensational work there. From four overs. Only bowled the four and a half overs. And he took four for 20. All right, everyone. Game four is going to be coming up in uh, in the next video, so we're going to get get through game four and five in the next videos. Hope you enjoyed today. Uh, we're going to play around a little bit with the settings, I guess, to just uh, 
find something that I think works for everyone. I want to make something that, you know, is, is good for you guys to watch. Um, is really what I'm aiming for here by trying to change up what, what is visually present on screen. Um, so obviously, you know, removing the pitch marker, some people. All right, look, you, you're making ridiculous scores, trying to make it a bit harder, um, which I think is fair enough. If people want want to see, you know, stupidly hard gameplay, but, you know, hopefully played pretty well, um, I think that's one of the draws of, of why people come here. So I, I always try to keep everyone happy as I can um, with, with whatever it is that I do and every decision that I sort of make in terms of, uh, you know, why I put it on hardest and why I'm sort of trying to remove these settings but find also a good balance of what will actually look good um, and, and, and fun to view. I want the videos to be enjoyable to view for you guys and that's why I'm doing this. Anyway, that is it. For today's video it's 2-1 australia still up still got two games to go an mcg uh one day and an adelaide oval one day we haven't been massive in uh, the previous two games but we'll look over these in the next couple of episodes hopefully i'm a little bit better uh by this point uh in the next next video but uh thanks for watching hope you've had a good one and uh i'll see you guys later have a great week hey everyone in the uh comments section i'd love for you to let me know what you're thinking about uh this change, yep. the removal of the pitch marker. This one's a good shot. Yep, could be a couple, possible three, potentially a fourth, but uh, we'll see.